All right. Hey, Todd, how are you? I am doing well. How about you? I am well. Well, my name is Rachel Morris, and I'm the Executive Director with the Roseville Chamber of Commerce. Today, we have Todd Rubin with Ting, who will tell us a little bit about Ting and kind of what it is for those that are wondering, what is Ting? I've seen it around. I've heard a little bit about it. But Todd is going to tell us about Ting, about himself, about the company, and then also about their introduction into Roseville. So yeah. Todd, tell us a little bit about Ting, kind of who you are and, you know, what you guys have planned for Roseville. Sure. Um, so my name is Todd Rubin. I am the regional manager for Ting Internet in North Carolina. Um, just to kind of give a quick background on myself, um, I've been living in Car uh, North Carolina for about uh, going on five years. Um, currently live in Holly Springs. Um, started with Ting about four years ago. And uh, Ting is a fiber internet service provider offering gigabit internet to homeowners and businesses of the communities we serve. Um, so Ting itself is a U.S. subsidiary of um, a Two Cows Inc., which is a Canadian company based out of Toronto, Canada. Um, right now, we service four North Carolina towns. Um, that is Holly Springs, Deepway Verena, Wake Forest, and of course, Roseville. Um, we immerse ourselves into the fabric of the communities that we serve, while also providing a quality product that improves the lives of residents and business owners alike. Now, Todd, now, you know, while we have this discussion, you know, you're going to have to break it down for the non-technical <laughs> people that will actually watch this. And so a lot of people, when they think of internet and think of some of the other companies, I know that Ting is new. And yep. you mentioned that you guys are kind of in four different locations here in North Carolina. Right. But when we talk about Ting and we think about some of the things, what is it that sets Ting apart from other companies? Um, so for me, I mean, in my opinion, what makes us different is our approach, not only to the customers, um, but to the communities that we serve. Uh, there is a famous expression, I like to say, you know, you talk to talk, walk the walk. There are many companies out there that, who make promises, um, whether that's being around reliability of the products, uh, of their products or the customer service they provide. Um, however, most of these companies do not follow through on that promise. Um, we fully believe we walk the walk. Not only do we feel that we provide great service, uh, which is reliable, um, but our customer service is top notch. We care about the communities we are in and the residents that we serve. Um, you know, however, we're not perfect by any means. Um, but I think it's the way that a company responds to issues is very important um, and really what resonates with the community. Um, I believe that this is where we re uh, Ting really excels and we couldn't do it without obviously our amazing group of people that we have working for Ting. Now, Todd, a key part of what she said is that you care about the community. And a lot of times when people think of a chamber of commerce, if you're in a business on the business side, you know kind of what a chamber of commerce is. You know, we serve as kind of that catalyst and that conduit between the business community, the municipalities, and also the community. So one of the things that we did, of course, when looking at Ting and talking about Ting is we held a series where we brought in a couple of people from the company. You guys were gracious to come in and talk about what it is that you offered. The one thing that stood out about Ting and everyone you had on that call was the relatability from your team. So your team broke it down and said what it is that they do, who they are, even reached out to people individually to said, hey, you know, you may be on the high end and know a little bit more of the tech terms that some people may not know. So you and I can talk offline. That way we don't kind of take up the time in this webinar to talk about that. But what are some of the services that Ting offers? Yeah, so what we offer is gigabit internet. Um, so for um, people that are not um, familiar with internet speeds, that is a, a thousand megabits upload and download. So that's what we call a symmetrical gig. Um, that is the main product that we, that we do offer. Um, we do offer a lower package, which is a five, megabit, five by five megabit package. Um, however, that's, you know, most people, um, to be honest, um, in the communities that we're currently active, our gigabit customers, it's uh, the, the smaller package, in my opinion, is really for uh, maybe empty nesters or people that are not doing a lot of streaming or um, a lot of online shopping and gaming. Um, but that's pretty much what we offer right now. Um, we do um, plan on having some sort of partnership um, with a streaming service down the road um, to possibly offer some sort of TV package as well. Um, but that is um, right now that's in discussion. And when all that information and when that becomes a reality, then we'll obviously portray that to the markets. 
And I know that was one of the key questions that always yeah. came up is what, you know, what else is offered? And I know that as of right now, Ting is offering just the actual um, high fiber internet option and looking at some of those other options further down the line. But when we think about Ting and for those that are living here in the community and we are seeing in some neighborhoods kind of, you know, they're laying down, I think you guys, I can't use your technical terms that I know all of it, but laying the fiber down or kind of putting the infrastructure in place. But for those that are here, what are we looking at as far as the date that we could potentially say, okay, Ting is gonna go live in Roseville is another internet option. Yeah, so right now we're currently in the construction phase. As you said, um, we're currently uh, building out communities and areas, um, installing conduit in those communities. Um, the expectation, and, and that work began in March of 2020. Um, the expectation right now, and we do not have a firm date, but the expectation is to have Roseville activated by first quarter 2021. And first quarter, that would be, of course, we're looking at that January to, what is that, March? Correct. Late Correct. time frame? Correct. At that time. So one of the things, so with Ting and Roseville, so you guys launched your construction phase in March 2020, which of course is right when the pandemic hit or as we say, the COVID era, it has yes. been called. So how has Ting been impacted by COVID? Oh uh, yeah, that, that's a great question. So as with many other businesses, obviously when COVID-19 hit, um, as a company, we really spent some time trying to figure out how to continue moving the business forward, but while also being safe and protecting our employees and the residents that we're serving. Um, so during this time, the company formed what we called an emergency response team, where we discussed the current state of the pandemic and how each state was handling the virus and the respective shutdowns. So based off all the information on hand, um, what we initially decided to do was shut down installations altogether until we were able to figure out how to proceed while also remaining safe. Um, so what eventually came out of these discussions um, is what we now call our smart install. Um, and without going to too much detail right now, um, the premise of the smart install is to keep our technicians out of people's homes, um, both protecting the technician and the resident at the same time, but it's still being able to activate customers who choose to sign up for our service. Speaking of that smart Maybe. install, so we look at, you know, I've heard some bits and pieces about it and yeah. kind of what's included in that smart install and looking at some changes and things like that. But I think the benefit of that is when you think about how you start the, the conversation off and you say, we care about community. And so we like to have segments such as this because we want people to understand that, you know, behind every company name, regardless of how large that company is in actual, we want to put faces in front of them. So they know who the persons are, you know, who they're working with and what's being considered and doing a time like the COVID era. I think it's more so important for people to know that these, you know, a business is being considerate of you. They are thinking about your well-being, your safety, not only yours, but also their essential employees. Because a lot of times when this happened, a lot of your employees were considered essential because we had to have impact <laughs> doing exactly. the time. And so I know now, so there's a big concern, right? We think about you talked about the gigabit and you talked about your different packages. So right now, as we're in the middle of some schools have already started, um, not only the private schools, but some Wake County schools like early colleges and things yep. like that. Next week is the big week when Wake County officially says we are back in school for, I think all of their, all of their schools, regardless of the calendar. A lot of parents are concerned about the ability to be able to be online and actually be able to work from home and thinking about the infrastructure and things like that of being able to hold it. What we're seeing here in Roseville is that unfortunately some of the internet companies that are here, a lot of, you know, a lot of the residents are experiencing some delays, some, some lagging and things of that nature. So with, with the fiber, for those who don't know, can you tell them a little bit more about how fiber differs from coax and some of those other things because most the average person won't know the difference between fiber coax and what is actually you know they just know my internet works it doesn't work so right. can you tell them you know just explain that briefly not too high tech but just a yep. little bit so people kind of understand the difference of why ting is is so important and why we're excited about it coming around correct yep yeah so um i would say again to keep it very um simple and not too uh technical, the, the big difference of fiber is fiber is the transmission of light. 
Um, so the difference between coax, which is a copper connection inside your home, and what we do, which we call fiber to the home, um, is we have, so there is, we don't use coax um, inside the house. We actually pull the fiber directly into your home connected by what we call an ONT, which is an optical network communicator, which is then CAT6 directly into your router. Um, so where, um, and, and to kind of put it in terms where, you know, it'll relate to, I guess, residents who, like you said, you know, what they just know whether their, their internet is working or it does not work, or if they're getting the speeds that they're paying for, if they're not getting the speeds they're paying for. So um, what we hear a lot is, hey, you know, when I'm coming home from work um, and, uh, you know, I'm signing onto my computer or, or I'm going onto the TV, my internet speeds just drop. They just start slowing down. Um, you do not experience that on a fiber connection. Um, to, to put it very simple. Um, so we're, the, the, we have plenty of bandwidth. Um, you should be able to come home at five, six o'clock and you will not see a drop in speeds like you do compared to um, a copper connection inside your house. Well, I will tell you that while I know for some and looking at internet over the years and for those who have been on internet from the wonderful age of dial up, to the wonderful age of getting to the coax. And then for those that switch services over from having, you know, your typical household now, a lot of people will have multiple devices um, yeah. on their internet. It's not just now saying, okay, I just want to put my computer on. You have smart TVs, you have Roku, yeah. you have Apple devices, you have Chromecast. Uh, so many devices that people don't think about that are actually sitting on their networks when they're in their homes. So what would you say has been the biggest challenge for team to date? Not just COVID era, but just to date, what has been the biggest challenge yeah. in your experience? Sure. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we're, we're not perfect. And there's definitely been, you know, some challenges along the way. Um, however, I would say our biggest challenge is really to be uh, is really narrowing that gap between the time that we announce a town and start constructing the town um, to the time that we're actually able to activate uh, customers. Um, I would say that we're working diligently to narrow that gap for future towns that we serve. Um, but I would say that would definitely be the biggest challenge um, that I would say that I've had to date in the last four years. And what would you say is the biggest success? Um, so I would say the, biz the biggest success over the past four years um, serving the North Carolina market, if I had, a, we've had a lot, but if I had to pick one, I would say it's the overwhelmingly positive responses that we've received from the residents of the towns we serve. Um, there is nothing more satisfying when we're attending an event and having residents, both customers and non-customers, coming up to you and thanking you for not only providing, you know, excellent an excellent product and customer service but also really being involved in the community and giving back to their communities um and again that, as i mentioned before that's really what sets us apart for, in my opinion from our competition is that we're out there we're giving back to the communities we're getting in front of the residents and and again it's really when, when there are issues whether it's around construction or um service or whatever it may be, um, to me, it's how quickly that you resolve those issues that really resonate with, with customers and, and residents. Um, and I've, I've had non-residents, uh, sorry, non-customers come up to us um, during the construction phase and just praised us for doing such a great job um, you know, in their community, just on the construction side. And another thing also when thinking about what Ting offers is you all don't have a separate business plan. So your internet is one that you all stand behind or excited about and know what it delivers. For a lot of those who are familiar with other plans and packages of that nature, you have a business plan for businesses and then a residential plan. So to have a, a product that will come in and say, hey, we're gonna deliver the same quality of service, the same product to you, whether you're a business, whether you're a residential customer, which is important to us. And Todd, before we wrap up, what is one thing you want the residents in the community of the Roseville area to know about team? Um, I would say the one thing I want, want the residents of Roseville to know is that we're moving pretty quickly through the, um, in the construction phase through, uh, through Roseville. And, um, you know, we're very excited to be there. We're, we're really excited to get you guys up and running and activated. And, you know, I know a lot of, I, I receive a lot of calls uh, throughout the week where, and emails where people ask me when we're going to, you know, when we're going to be ready to start activating service. 
Um, I want to tell everyone that it will be soon. Like I said, Q1, I'm hoping it's possibly earlier, but I don't want to uh, promise anything. Um, but again, we're very excited. Um, you know, we're here to be a part of your community and we believe that you're, you're truly going to um, love the product and love the customer service that we provide. Well, Todd, thank you so much for joining us to talk a little bit about Team and what you all have to offer. I'll make sure that I include some information about how to reach Ting, how to go in and look at the Roseville website that Ting has set up. And you are the regional town manager for Ting. And so I'll make sure that some contact information will also be listed for those that want to know more about Ting. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for joining and talking with us about Ting and we look forward to Ting coming to our community.